Uh, yeah, it was an interesting experience. Uh, only second game captaining the Black Ferns um, on a massive stage. Uh, something we, we ideally coming into this um, tournament wanted to take away two games from two with the, with the test matches, three games with the England A. It uh, wasn't to happen, but um, we... Uh, I guess it's a, a reflection for women's rugby. It's it's probably um, a good thing leading into the World Cup just to see the the um, possibility of other teams uh, beating top level teams. Um, with England coming in and, and taking taking the game out. I watched a part of the game again on the TV, and it was by no means a cut and dried decision. It could have gone either way right up to the last minute. Really, yep. and I also saw the game at um, Isha the previous week, in which I thought you were exceptionally good at controlling and dictating the game and I, I thought that in fact uh, that was the high spot of the tour as far as you were concerned. From your point of view, it is the most successful tour. You've had three results, yep. you've had two substantial wins and, and one close score. So, good result for you, I think. Well, no, in reflection, yes. Um, I guess we haven't had any international play, so coming over here we had no idea what to expect um, from our team or from England. Um, yeah, good result. Um, we had to we had to build as a team. We've managed to blood quite a few new players, which has been the the goal of this this tournament to try and increase our depth for next year. Uh, we've had a lot of um, retirees from last World Cup and a few injuries this year, which have certainly sort of emptied some positions. So it was it, overall, it's been it has been very successful, and the girls have grown together as a team. We a lot of the girls obviously didn't know each other, so there's a lot of friendships being made, and hopefully that will put us in good stead for next year. And you've got a very solid player in your number 10, um, uh, Be Becky Rebecca Mahoney, Hull, uh, yep. previously Becky Hull, yep. who we know from her time playing uh, at Clifton. Yeah. And yep. even then, with the boot that she's got on her, I thought she'd be a threat, a threat to England someday. Yeah. yeah, no, she's been outstanding. She's probably had to play the, the back seat role to Anna Richards for a very long time, so now's her opportunity to step up. She's had the exposure playing over here in England, which I think has certainly helped her, just to know some of the English players and the different style of style of game. Uh, she played for one of the NPC teams this year, Wellington, and had to pretty much control and run the whole game. Probably didn't get the opportunity for the a natural first five game that she'd like to play that we need for Black Ferns, so it's a good test for got an outstanding boot on her um, and hopefully we can hopefully she'll grow with this this tournament that's happened for next year and it's important to remember isn't it that in 2001 in England came to New Zealand they narrowly beat you in Auckland yeah it's a complete replay and isn't it <laughs> in Barcelona I was there you won the World Cup final yeah yeah we, we remarked on that on just how similar the build-up has been and we reflected on it even prior to the loss on Saturday that we, we were trying to avoid that but um, I think it has been good for us a good point for us to reflect so that we can go back to the drawing board for what comes. Definitely. Thank you Victoria. Thank you.